Hey, Nick Frederick-King again, Agrigold Agronomist here in Southern Illinois. Look in front of me here, you see beach towels, but we're not on the beach today. Always the bad calls, never the good ones. We're seeing some SDS intervenal chlorosis symptoms out here in the field. Got this call a few weeks ago and wanted to come check back in on what we were seeing. So next to me here, you can see we've got patches in the field of this SDS intervenal chlorotic necrotic symptoms, right? Most times you'd think SDS right off the bat, but there are some other diseases we've got to talk about while we're discussing the symptomology. Sudden death syndrome, obviously, but other diseases that can show these symptoms would be brown stem rot, stem canker, and red crown rot, just to name a few. So I want to take you through what we're finding in the plants, the progression of some of these disease symptoms, and what you can be looking for when you're trying to diagnose uh, the SDS intervenal chlorosis symptoms out in your field. So we're going to start with this very first plant. Relatively healthy for the most part. We're potted up on the stem, have good branching. But I know that there's SDS symptoms out in the field. So the first thing I want to do is check for stem canker. That's going to be the exterior of the plant. And we would notice lesions at every single node level. Now I've looked at this plant, there are no lesions there, so I can rule out stem canker in this field. As I move down, I've split this plant open and exposed that inner tissue, that pith tissue inside of the soybean. So the first evaluation is the pith. Is it white in color? That's a good thing. Now I can rule out brown stem rot. If I had brown stem rot, I would notice some decayed tissue inside the stem of that soybean. And from here I can move down and start looking at that crown level where that root system meets the plant right at the soil line. Do I have any decay in this area? Well, this is still one of those healthy plants. So no, I don't have any decay. This is what a healthy crown stem and pith should look like on the inside of that soybean plant. But now we start the progression of symptoms. As you can see, we've got a little intervenal chlorosis up here on the soybean. We've got some obvious root rot and decay here on the bottom part of the plant but no obvious spores or anything like that that would lead us to believe um, SDS. We do know we have a decay though, so we're limited now to sudden death syndrome and uh, you know red crown rot, maybe some phytophthora in the field, but we're gonna keep assessing these plants. If we continue this progression down the line where we've got plants starting to wilt a little bit. We still have that decay on the root system, but by the time we get down here, those diseases have progressed enough inside of the soybean that we start to see some more obvious symptoms. Red crown rot. We're going to notice a red tinge right at that soil line on the main stem of the soybean. So as you can see, we're starting to get a little bit of that tinge here. And as that soybean disease progresses, we pick up some more dark red here at the soil line. So now I've got some evidence that there may be red crown rot in this field. That's escalated when we get down here. More progress, premature death. The distinct red sporulation right there on the stem. Now I know that I've got red crown rot. But we still have the question of SDS because we can have disease complexes in these fields. We can have SDS, red crown rot, and phytophthora, sometimes all in the same plant. Once we weaken that root system and we've started to rot and decay, we can introduce some of these other pathogens later in the season. So actually, as you look down here, you may notice that there's some blue-green sporulation on these tap roots um, in conjunction with those red spores that are actually on the stem. That blue-green fungus is gonna be indicative of the SDS pathogen. So now on these plants, I know that we do have a complex of SDS and at least red crown rot. Now Phytophthora, that root rot is also present in this field where we see it climbing up the main stem. Uh, the plant starts to wilt, but those leaves hang on. So uh, with those assumptions out in the field, I did send plant samples off to the, the Purdue Disease Lab, and we did confirm that disease complex of SDS and red crown rot in this field. But it's important to get out in these fields and split these soybean stems when you have these symptoms so you have a better understanding of what disease you're looking at because we do pay money for seed treatments. And you know, with Saltro and Olivo on the market, we can control SDS. But if we eliminate the Saltro and Olivo component of our seed treatment and allow SDS to infect, and then some of these other diseases can piggyback that and infect the remainder of the plant, um, we're doubling down on the amount of disease that we have in these plants and we influence this premature death so quickly. You can look on this healthy plant. We have tons of great beans on here. 
but we've nearly lost every pod on these infected plants. So uh, please get out in your fields if you see any symptoms. Uh, make sure you're diagnosing correctly what disease you have. And if you have any questions on which disease you're seeing, you know, reach out to your local DSM or myself and we'd be happy to help. Thank you.